Hello everyone and welcome back to my next new video. Today we are playing Pokemon Legend of Arceus. <clears throat> As always, like and subscribe to the Junior Crew. Hit the bell notification to be notified on my latest videos. And if you are ready, please let us begin. Alrighty. How are we doing voiceovers for this one? Only above the lady. The, um, our friend. Akira, Akira, whatever her name is. There you are. Let's hurry to headquarters. Okay. Who look who's been booked to her. Finally realizing you're wasting all my Snail's precious time by bowing bowing to a sham. There you go again, insisting on your false image of all my Snow as a ruler of time. My people follow the true mice, you know, the fount of all creation and ruler of space. Ah, you could have, you could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me, are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make of vast history of space? Better than... Some of it's a miracle you showed up on time, almighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I worried you'd get lost on this pointless vast space. You're so fond of and never show up. Me get lost in Mighty Snail's great gift to the Pearl Clan? In our world's very basis, you wish. I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Oh my snow, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Commando's office. I believe it was you who started this. Alright, both you two, get along. Thank you. You can feel the tension when those two show up. You haven't met them, have you? The one with the Varence for Space of Arda, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who was going on and on about time, Adam leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan gradually coexist at the moment. Apparently, things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean the commander, is waiting. We should save this conversation for after you report to him. Sure. What's he always doing? How goes the serving? We'll get along great here, as you can tell. Wait, what? What's happening to Butica? Butica and Vinny involved in the Silicu. 
Just a little while, I'm gonna help also to a beauty fly. You can do it, Beautica. That's a casco. Oh, I hope that lady's up here because I also want to give her the. The Geo dude that she wanted. Oh, hello, Evie. Uh, I'm gonna make my way to the oh, wrong area. I'm gonna go up here. Oh, okay, I'm pulled in this. What do you tend to do about the clever commander, commando, whatever his name is? May he be descended from a warrior of almighty enough, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You're right. You do get right to the point, Admin. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Pelva is a precious lord of the lord of the pearl class. Is he not? That's the point. My kind can't intervene directly where a lord of the pearl kind concerns. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. But even folks like the Galactic Team, Galaxy Team, have been w wondered, wounded. Haven't they seen someone got to do something here? Who then will be the Diamond Clan? Have the Portal Clan could bring down one of its own honorable no nobles? I don't believe I said that, though it may be. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Calvor Calvor into such a violent frenzy. I like to know that myself, but this is the first as far as the Night Clans know, too. There. Mm, I seen you right. Sup, people? This is Junior, the newest member of our Survivor Corps. Aha, uh -huh, I heard from May you earn what are these flavor? Good to finally meet you, stranger from the rift. I'm admin, leader of the Diamond Clan. If you want to be formal, but that's my fault. Just call me admin. I'm calling you Adam. If you come here beyond the space time rift, could you be from space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? I'm Arida. Leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I have a pro proposition. Why not send this one to study Calvors before deciding what must be done? You send this stranger who su su supposedly fell from the rift to study Kelvor, this newcomer with no experience. I like her. This leader with almost no experience. <coughs> Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing. It shows vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If how you knew you are, it doesn't matter. Now let's give the kid his chance. I'm so Commander. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are. With all your weird ways. Putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. All my Zeno's has made Hishu vast so Pokemon 
could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand on Sepho and not count ourselves above, above them. We do not use Pokeballs for a desire to control our Pokemon. Only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Junior. I order you to study Calbor and help us find the truth of the situation. Yes, sir. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. Okay. Give me a second. Oh! I broke my bones. Let's do this. Well, that's settled, and there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Calvor, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you yet can encounter can compare to his strength. Be warned. Yes, Miss Irida. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition Team has come to the Hisuo region as a group of outsiders. Some might even cause interrupters. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relation with the Diamond and Pearl Clans. Understand? Yes, sir. Show me downstairs, Jair. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Okay, we. Making my way downtown, making my way down, down. I don't know why. What's up, people? Okay, I'm here. All good. You're right. We're already here. Professor Lamington, just briefly, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, dear, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Calvor's frenzy state. But as you're aware by now, Calvor is a mighty thing. Not invincible, even. The security corps tried throwing a Pokeball at Cal Calvor when they were attacked, but I'm afraid that they even come close to catching him. It seems he's a fair trick to our opponent, that even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle, once they rail. i like to p be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle this? You bet your sweet biffy I can! Yes, ma'am. Very well. Then us go over the Practicals. The Diamond and Pearl Clan review their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their mighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Sets. Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be found out. What sort of offspring they offerings they normally leave for this Calvor? Here, we need to speak with you. Listen, this rift in the space-time seems like a connection to this world to a whole other world. That world might be where Almighty, Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is, the one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that means, might mean, you travel through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it. You must have been just swimming in its diving mud. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you. Oh, amazing time traveler. Don't just study Calvor. Crew his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us a good time, young Adam. We were just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole Calvor situation. Oh, you must be the Galaxy Team Schooler I heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let's meet as 
obliterate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Kalmore. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they get they'd rather get his get this under control too. But it's hard for them to come right out and ask. Those of the galaxy team of all people for help. And the truth is we in the Dire Cards have a simple, similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us, off in the mountains, has fallen into the same type of frenzy as Kalbor. Now, there's certainly a bad blood between us and Pearl Clan, but still. We all got to share Hishiro, and this means we ought to tackle our problem together. But there aren't many capable of standing up. To such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we got. You may find Kelbor at Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of the Heart Woods. His warden is a boy named Lien. Lien is a bright child, brilliant child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliant. Can be blinding, you know. He'll tell you all about this beloved Kelbor, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up for the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. Bye! What are you saying, Oh, that's her. I'll just read this one. We say you back quickly once we finish, he finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. And men and May weren't wrong, you know. It's your to study and perhaps well heal. Kelbor, you better start by visiting his abor. Our new hike camp will be a handy place for setting out towards Grand Tree Arena. You should stop by the pastures too. You'll want to choose the best bowen to bring. Find yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across. Satchels always seeming full. And sounds like you be the wise to lend me your ear a moment and hear what I have to say. You carry even, around even more in that satchel of yours. If you learn the trick is to packing needs, if you get in, I can teach you if you like. What do you say? Teach me. That'd be a hundred dollars. All right, because well, I'm gonna be spending out quite a bit of money. And all that there is to it. You see how much more you can fit into packing Danes, right? If you want to be able to carry more Danes, then more I could teach you. What do you say? Sure. Hold on a sec, folks. All right, spend about. Hold on. Now I have ten thousand money left. So that's it. May later. There's times when a single extra item can be mean a difference between life and death, you know. Thank you, but I'm thinking I'm good. Well, look at this. I carry more space now. I know what the heck with it. Fine. Just get two more. One last time. There, no more, no more. I can't anymore. Look at this. I got all the space I need now. Now I'm going to earn all that money back. Oh, please. Uh oh, wrong person, but oh well. We got this mission to do now for the Badoops. Alright, now, why we came here to do was talk to somebody about Alright, now, looks like I get into another cutscene. How are things, my good friend? I certainly hope you're putting this 
that secret back st strike technique I taught you to good use. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. Oh, think of nothing of it. Having the survival court out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know. Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortune. Thank you, my friend. And now I must depart. These are my ruins that are just calling to me. So yeah, there's my, uh... Alright. Alright, folks. I'll see you in all in a bit. Oh, please. Alright, so I'm back. I've been wandering around for a long time. Wait for the right moment. And there goes my chance. Gotta run now. Good. Lose my sight. Go get that berry. Keep getting distracted. Fire! More of a shot. He's like, who can? Oh, who do that to me? He's like, I know you're there. I know you're hiding there. But I will continue to eat these snacks you leave me. Oh no. Oh, I did not want this to happen. Well, apparently this happened. Alright, everybody. Well, that's all I have for today's video. I'll see what I can do to survive. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.